I had some coffee, orange juice, and a cranberry muffin. I had oatmeal and an uh, English muffin with peanut butter. I had Cheerios for breakfast. Homemade granola with uh, yogurt. I had a bagel and I had an egg muffin and um, that's not bad. I had raisin bran and uh, wheat toast. Strawberry pie, uh, some ice cream, tea, hot tea. Yogurt with uh, peaches. Egg McMuffin, it's the healthiest thing at McDonald's. <laughs> I had cold pizza for breakfast. English muffin with butter and strawberry jam and one fried egg. A very bad breakfast. <laughs> I had a cinnamon roll. Starbucks. Waffles. I had a cereal. Well, that was interesting. I had my total living drink this morning. <laughs> Yay, me! But, but you know, uh, there's not a lot of really. Well, what do you think about a hard boiled egg? Well, what do you think about let oatmeal? Let me ask, ask, answer your question with a question which I know is, is politically incorrect, but I did it anyway. Um, <laughs> what do you think of those answers there? Who do you think had the healthiest breakfast? Did you, did you come to any conclusion just listening to those people saying this person had the healthiest well, breakfast? Well, let's see. One person had Cheerios, one person had an egg McMuffin. It wouldn't I don't be those know. two. I it wouldn't be those two. It wouldn't be know. Cheerios? No, 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 no. No, because I, <laughs> Cheerios are one of my favorite. I know. It has been in the past. Now, you know, I just well, and they're I had big carrot, enough, bread, and a piece of fruit. They're big enough to uh, put a big picture of a heart on their cereal box and nobody's yeah. going to touch them because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a multi, multi billion dollar company. So, yeah, of uh, oddly enough, now assuming that the pizza was made the way I would make pizza, but oddly enough, the leftover pizza was the healthiest. Really? Yes, because huh. pizza is at least food if you make it the right way. If you make it with organic, you know, whole wheat crust, uh, and we'll do this at home, we'll make it with organic tomatoes, we'll make it with organic <laughs> mozzarella, and then we'll put, you know, garlic and olive oil, uh, we'll put onions on there, it's food. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and warming up dinner, if your dinner was, assuming your dinner was reasonably healthy, for instance, if you make, we make meatloaf with veal and bison, mm. okay? okay. Um, and that's one of my favorite breakfasts to have. I have my green drink, Monday through Friday, but on Saturday and Sunday, because it's good to spell herbs, you know, and not take it 40 days in a row, mm -hmm. um, I will have usually uh, a free-range egg or two, and then if we have something like leftover meatloaf, that's what I'll have for breakfast. That's great. Well, could I just bring up one point here that I think is, is very important? <clears throat> I, was, I was interviewing Mike Huckabee, and he's, he's done, done an incredible job with maintaining his, his he weight. He lost 100 and what, 120, 120 pounds, pounds or something like that, yeah. But... Uh, I said to him jokingly, I said, you know, occasionally I like my hot dog. I love hot dogs. And he said, hot dogs are not in my strategy at all. In my I future. was talking to another fellow, in fact, on, uh, on a program. Um, and I said something about, uh, or, or he said, uh, for example, pizza is not in my future. But as I thought about that, I thought they could be in your future if they're made right and if they're made healthy. Because when you look at pizza... There's, there's a lot of vegetables and so forth there. And so it seems to me, Joe, that some of these foods could be made healthy and you could enjoy them. Is that? It's exactly true? right, Jerry. Let's not let the name of the food drive the health benefits of the food. In addition to that, if an individual is going to go about a health journey, and let's say that individual becomes fanatical like I was, okay? Number one, they often become food Nazis. Mm -hmm. And they embark on a journey that is going to be for one-tenth of one percent of the population. And I think right. that's an overdramatic statement. I think yeah. it's more like one one-hundredth. Yeah, exactly. So what good are we doing people if we tell them that? You saw the public at large there, okay? You right. saw the public at large. These people were not, you know, they, they, these people were together people. I mean, they all looked very normal and stuff to me, you know? And what did they tell you? The, the variety of breakfasts they had was... Was, was, was varying. What we're going to discuss uh, later on this program is hot dogs in general. Yeah. That's not mm -hmm. the name of the food, but we're going to tell you to eat healthy but, hot dogs. But let's get to the pancakes mm -hmm. right now because this is our healthy cooking oh, segment. Good. And you, at your, you or your wife actually made these this morning. I made you these. You made these, Joe. So tell us quickly, what, what are the ingredients and why are these pancakes healthier than the regular white flour pancakes okay. that we're all familiar with? We use a brand called Pam's Gluten-Free Pancake Mix. For kids especially, wheat-free uh, is, is very good. We use cage-free organic eggs extra virgin olive oil, natural almond milk, flaxseed powder, and my kids like to have chocolate chips on there. So we now, I love organic, the sound of that. <laughs> I, we'll put organic chocolate chips on there, and I space them out in rows. I don't even see the chocolate um, chips well, in Well, I there. thought they might melt on Andy's camera. So, oh, okay. But I, I space them out in rows, and I cut them in perfect squares so they get one chocolate chip per bite. <laughs> That's the weird part about me. And then we, we use organic butter. Um, now. And maple syrup? 
Oh, what we'll do you use? We we'll use organic maple, maple syrup. Maple syrup, sure. If you've ever, if you look at your commercial brand syrups, the word syrup is nowhere on the bottle. Because what? It, there's no syrup in there. It's all high fructose corn syrup. Well, it's, that's syrup. It's, it's all high, uh, no, no, syrup is maple. It comes from a maple tree. It's extracted. That's why a bottle of maple syrup that's 100% maple syrup extracted from a tree costs $15. That's right. And a bottle of high fructose corn syrup costs $2. Well, actually, you know, you can buy a little jar of maple syrup like this, pure maple syrup, for not too, too much money. And then the other neat thing is you don't need that much of it because it's very sweet. Yeah. That's, a, that's the it's point, very Shirley. Sweet. Is that economically, it's really no different. Here's the irony. The food giants are making a much higher profit margin at $3 a bottle than the organic well, growers the are organic. making at $15. Well, quickly, why, why mm. use almond milk as opposed to cow's milk? Cow's milk is, uh, non-organic cow's milk is, is one of the more toxic things we can put in our body. Well, what about our, organic cow's milk? Organic at least takes out things like hormones, uh, pesticides in the soil. Um, some of the farms actually feed their cows grass. There's different levels of organic okay. milk. Um, almond milk is actually, it's kind of sweet. My kids love it. Uh, and th this is what we use in there. And the taste of these pancakes, Shirley, I, I tell you, we have eaten at some of the more renowned pancake cafes here in the <laughs> Chicagoland area. And whether my kids say it because they think I'm going to discipline them if they don't say it, but they say it anyway, Dad, these are good, but they're still not as good as yours. Oh, that's so nice. So you, well, you can eat pancakes. Like you have Let to, them you eat have pancakes. To make these. Definitely gonna, I'm definitely going to try them. And for the directions on how you can make these healthy pancakes, check out Kylea.com or TLN.com. Click on Balanced Health or Kylea, and you can get the recipe. Um, and up next, we're going to talk about hot dogs. They're healthy and tasty, so don't go away.